I went she small house such as everything it's very cold I made this sink for myself hello everyone welcome back to my channel and to the new beginning in my life my name is Divya. In the last few years, I have been traveling around the world, connecting deeply with nature and the people I meet. Last year, I spontaneously packed my bags and went overlanding in my Dodge Charger for a month and stayed in various beautiful farms. I love to explore this world in the most rawest form and share stories with you all. So this time, I decided to go far, far away from Arizona, to the end and tip of the world. Yes, to the Arctic Ocean itself, to take a dip in freezing cold water. This is going to be super fun and adventurous. So I invite you all to join me on this journey by hitting the subscribe button. Let's go. Hi everyone. So I drove about 40 minutes from my place and you know what happened? Look at this. There was a stone uh, that hit my car and it cracked my windshield. So I'm not sure what to do next. This is the first time I'm ever, uh, you know, I'm ever undergoing this. I just found a parking lot and I've parked here. I'm trying, trying to call some mechanics to see if they can fix it. Problem, this is Drew. I can help you. Hi, do you guys fix a uh, cracked windshield? The next day, and they fix this. It's not a cosmetic fix. I can still see the cracks, but he said it's safe to go now. I have finally started my road trip and I am one hour away from home. Um, I was planning to stay in Flagstaff, which is about one and a half hour from now, but then I just felt like driving more. So I'm going to a different place, which is uh, about three hours from here. Kingsman, like what I had planned yesterday, I'm going there. Um, and I've not planned on where to sleep. Let's see and go and explore the different. But I'm so excited that I am going to be amongst mountains and a wide landscape. Very, very, very excited. I reached Kingsman, Arizona and I found a campground for $20. I took a nap and I was ready to try out my new camper setup in my Subaru Outback. This is my sink setup. Let me show you. Before that, I actually pulled this slab out of my car. This is actually some uh, wood that was used to make some table, but this is a second hand which was returned to IKEA and I found something. So I got that and then I'm using my old tripod to um, support this slab here and I'm, I made this sink for myself. So this is just a box that I got for 20 bucks and this is a frying uh, pan and what i did was i drilled a hole here and i put this um, attachment so basically i have a gray water tank collector after i wash my face or whatever i can just press this and all the water will go into that bottle and then i can close it so i got this usb operated tap from amazon uh, it actually has a pipe that goes into this water bag inside um, i can also like uh, use a bigger pipe and make it go to the actual water tank that i have but yeah this is my sink setup i got ready um, i had i came here 
parked under the shade and slept nicely for I took a nice 30 minutes nap uh, and I freshened up now and I'm going to clean up this place it's kind of messed up uh, you know living in a car is not easy and this is my first day so it's definitely not optimized so I'm gonna clean this up show it to you guys I'm going to park my car over there and I will try to capture it watch it oh, okay it's still messy but this is how I think life is over landing in an SUV, in a compact, in a mid-size SUV. Um, but this bed is so cozy. Um, night when it gets cold, I would just love to cozy up inside in here. But I will in one video show all the things that I have. But for now, this is day one. I'm still trying to explore and work it out what I should store, what I should throw. When over landing, it's not always going to be clean. It's going to get messed up because there's very less space to store a lot of things. I am essentially living inside this car for three months. I am planning to go to the Arctic Ocean. That's the Arctic Circle. Uh, I don't know if I will take Alaska Road or Canada Dumpster Highway or Alaska Dalton Highway, but that's very far away to think about today is day one all i am going to do today is soak in to this nature get a couple of nice uh, photography of my car tiny rice cooker that I got from a website called Temu and today I'm not going to make any big meals all I'm going to make is some rice and my mother from India she packed tasty um, tomato uh, pickle I'm just gonna mix and have that a little bit for tonight So I'm going to plug this to the electricity I have in my car. So it's not good to keep it on the plastic. So I just place this thing here and keep it. On top of this. Right now the battery is 100%. I've not even turned, taken off the sticker. And I'm going to use this AC plug it here and okay, I'm going to turn on this AC see the light here immediately jaggery starts making noise it's the fan noise to cool it but if you can see this cooker actually consumes 406 let me take this it consumes 406 watts of power so while the rice is getting done let me show you around this campsite this place is actually in kingman i booked it through a hip camp it only costs 20 dollars per night but it's so beautiful look at all the mountains it's super super pretty and after sunset that mountain at the distance is kind of bluish now and look at the moon beautiful right so last few days i've been uh, physically very stressful for me because um, a lot of changes in my life i actually vacated my apartment fully and I, I gave in my keys and I've taken a big break from my work just to be with nature and I don't know I just felt like I want to be among the mountains and um, the nature for a while so a lot of changes so I had to clean my apartment 
and uh, shift all the things and I minimalized all the things um, that I accumulated for eight years living in Arizona and I have only a few of uh, my baggages that I've kept in my friend's place and rest of the things that I need is actually in the car. Well, look at this, my friend Anu and Rakul gifted me this. So beautiful. Spoon set. to get ready to um, close all the windows to sleep. This is the reflectix that I custom made for insulation purpose for my car. Hmm. When I was a kid, I used to dream of, you know, Tom and Jerry, Jerry's house, small house which has everything. <laughs> This looks like that. So I'm going to close the door, sit inside and have my dinner. nice okay you all it's time to sleep now in the morning and it's so bright already but it's very cold I woke up 5 a.m. in the morning I meditated for 30 minutes watched the sunrise and stretched for a bit and I decided to clean utensils and clean my car and keep it organized before I start my journey to the next destination finished a nice workout and got a good shower I just have to arrange some stuff put my laundry in the laundry bag It was time to drive again, listening to the song of an ocean far, far away in the Arctic. I'll see you all in my next episode. Until then, you all take care. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon. Thank you so much.